Hello everyone, this is Vaseem from Edureka and I welcome you all to this session in which I am going to talk about sending emails with Python. So let us take a look at the agenda for this session. First of all, I will give you a brief about what exactly is an email and then I will tell you how we can use Python to send an email. Moving further, I will tell you about Python library to send an email and finally to sum up this session, I will show you a sample program in Python to send an email. I hope you guys are clear with the agenda. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on Edureka. And do check out Edureka's Python programming certification program. The link is given in the description box below. Now, without wasting any more time, let us begin our session. So, what exactly is an email? I'm sure in the day and age today, almost everybody knows what exactly is an email and how we actually use an email. Even then I want to highlight certain points that you actually need when you're writing an email. So the fields that are required to write an email are we need a sender and a receiver and then we need the subject line as well. And we're going to work on these fields in the demo as well. But I'll show you uh, the shorter version of the demo so that you'll be able to understand it better. And talking about the basic definition an email is nothing but messages distributed by electronic means from one computer user to another. There can be many more recipients as well via a network. So now we can share different media as well using the email. I mean almost everyone uses emails in day to day lives and we can share files. We can share folders and we can share electronic media such as video an audio file etc. Now moving on. Let's talk about how we can use Python to send an email. So there can be two approaches to this. So we can use Python web automation using selenium. And it would require automating each task starting from the login activity where we have to automate the login process in which we have to provide the username and the password through selenium. And then you have to automate each task after that you have to provide the subject you have to click on certain buttons. You have to automate the you know clicking on text fields and then writing the message or the sender and receiver all those things. That is one approach that you can follow to send an email using Python. But this can be a really good uh, practice project to learn web browser automation as well. And if you want to know more about web browser automation, we already have a tutorial on uh, web browser automation using Selenium and we have a few Python automation projects as well. So I suggest you to check out them as well. And then there is another approach to send an email, which is we have a Python library, which is uh, SMTP lib, which can be used to send an email. And we will jump right on to the demo and I will show you how easy it is to send an email. But before that, let me just talk about SMTP lib a little. So this library or the module defines an SMTP client session object which can be used to send an email to any other internet machine with an SMTP or ESMTP listener daemon. And if specified local host name is used as the FQDN of the local host in the hello or EHLO command. And otherwise the local host name is found using socket. So this is the textbook definition of SMTP library. In short, I just want to tell you like SMTP library is the library in Python that is going to be used to send an email to another user using Python. So we'll go right to the PyCharm guys and I'll just show you how we can uh, write a program to send an email. So first of all, you have to import the SMTP library and you need not install it uh, separately because uh, it's not a dependency. It's already there. And after that, uh, you know, I'll just name a server. So this server basically is in which we have a SMTP SSL SMTP server address and a port number. So we can check for these settings for gmail.com because we're going to be using the gmail for sending the email and according to which we will use these. First of all, I have to use SMTP library dot SMTP SSL because it requires that when I check the settings of gmail, it is actually there. So we have to write this and now I have to provide a certain uh, values which is uh, SMTP dot gmail dot com which is basically nothing but you know the SMTP server address which you will find in the settings for gmail.com guys and then you have to provide the port number right so we are good to go here and this whole program I'm gonna write it in uh, like five line of codes guys so it is that simple now I will use the server dot login and login is basically nothing but you know it is required to authenticate the user guys because for logging into gmail you actually need authentication so for that you need email and password for which we are using the login method 
so over here we can use uh, any like my email id or any other email id so we'll just take example dot uh, or example at the rate gmail.com and password we'll just keep it as password only so this is just a sample uh, program that i'm talking about so in this uh, field over here you have to provide your email id that you're going to use to log in and here you have to provide the password and uh, after this we will use the server dot send mail all right and if we use the send message method in this we can also use email message in which we can uh, actually uh, choose the subject line also which we can provide in the email but for now i'm just gonna use the send mail method which is basically going to take like values from there'll be two and this will be the message guys so from has to be uh, your email id so which is example dot at the rate gmail.com two it can be anything so i'll take it as contact one at the rate gmail.com this is what you have to choose guys so this can be anything and there has to be a message over here so which let's say hello how are you this will be the message and after that you have to terminate using the quit command guys so this is basically used to uh, terminate the session between the client and smtp server and when i run this i will basically encounter a small error because uh, i'll show you guys what exactly is the error so error is smtp authentication error username and password cannot be accepted so what will happen is if you're using gmail guys you'll have to disable the safety measure which is uh, basically nothing but you know you have to allow the less safer apps you can just copy this error guys google it and you will find uh, or when you're trying to log into your gmail account it will show you a security message and after that you can just follow up and disable that or allow the less safer apps to log into your gmail account as well and after you have done that you can uh, simply log in and send that message so these are all dummy values for uh, all the email accounts i'll show you the exact copy of the message that you will get after you send this message but before that you have to disable that uh, option to allow the less safer apps to log into the account so this is your message guys i mean i use the email ids like my own email id work id and i use the recipient's id as the same as well that is why it is bcc to me only and it sent me the message of course i was getting that error in the beginning but uh, when i got the security message i disabled that uh, security option where i was able to allow the less safer apps to log into my account but i suggest you should not do that i suggest you only do that for uh, trusted uh, apps or none at all because if you disable that feature you are prone to more security attacks and all those things so make sure you uh, check the consequences first of all and if you are trying out this program just make sure you have checked on all the safety options and as soon as you are done with the program as soon as you are done running this program just disable that again so you are safe again i hope you like this session guys like and share it with your friends as well and tell us in the comments what you would like to learn in the next session and don't forget to subscribe to edureka for more exciting tutorials and press the bell icon to get the latest updates on edureka and enroll to edureka's python programming certification program to master python in no time thank you and happy learning i hope you have enjoyed listening to this video please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to edureka channel to learn more happy learning